What's up, what's up, Varsha here, and I am coming at you with my go-to summer makeup. So, for this one, I'm actually going to be using a lot of affordable stuff, like drugstore brands and drugstore brushes. There's only one thing in here, and you guys will know right off the bat, it's high-end. And I'm just going to tell you right now. So, first we're going to sanitize our hands, and then we're going to clean off our face with my cellar water, the Garnier one, because ain't nobody trying to get a gunky, nasty face, especially during the summer. Ew. Wipe all that crap off. Wipe it off. Now we're gonna put some sunscreen on because this is summer makeup and we don't want our faces to burn. And this sunscreen is actually really nice. It acts as a good primer too. Put that all over your face and neck and move on to foundation. I'm just gonna shake that thing up and take it on our beauty blender. Yes, that is the high-end product in this video. I'm so sorry guys. I can't help it. It's so nice. It It's really, I mean, it's for me, I was like holding off on buying one because I'm like, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. It was so worth it. I'm just gonna blend that all over the face. And I put on two layers of foundation because I'm like, oh, it's not not full coverage enough. And then I realized I put too much on. Now it's too full coverage. It's whatever. It's doing what it's doing. It's fine. Just blend it down to the neck. <laughs> now we're gonna take some concealer and we're gonna put that concealer in the inner corners of your eyes or wherever there is darkness because for summer look you want to look bright and out there and not so much like a vampire like me and then we're gonna take the fingers and we are going to just blend that out pat it out don't sweep it because then you might end up with a mess of course like I want it to look more diffused so I actually take the beauty blender that has some leftover foundation on it and I just pat it out a little bit more and so it's not like, oh my gosh, you have concealer on your face. Nobody wants that. Now we're going to take it down the center of our face. And just take the beauty blender again. I got it on my eyebrow. We're going to take the beauty blender again and we're going to blend that out. Blend it out. And we're going to take some powder on the same beauty blender and we're just going to pat that in. It just locks in the makeup a lot better. next I think it's time for some highlighting and contouring after she's done blending her face in with the powder come on girl there we go we're gonna take this wet and wild contouring palette with the real techniques foundation brush I'm just patting that yellow powder underneath my eyes so it kind of gives like this subtle highlight because for me being oily skinned I don't really like to use shimmery or shiny highlighters, especially in the summer, just because it's like, oh, but then I look extra, extra, extra sweaty. We're just taking that to the highest points and centers of the face, down the nose, some on the chin, and then we're going to take that contouring powder on an elf bronzing brush. This color is so dark! Look at that! But of course I'm sitting outside, and the sun was hitting at an awkward angle so I couldn't tell how dark that one side of my face got but it's okay because we actually do go out and blend that out and what I'm doing is like with the contouring powder I'm going underneath my cheekbones and the hollows of my cheeks and then I go around my face in a three shape and an E shape you'll see don't worry I'll show it to you right there I just like gradually start going up and down my face There you go. Right there. And then I kind of go into my crease of my eyes just because I kind of want my eyes to look more deep set, or at least my eyelids to look a little bit more receding backwards because they stick out so much. I don't know why. <laughs> just blending that stuff out. Now we're going to take the slightly shimmery, but not extremely shimmery bronzer, and we're just going to use this to kind of diffuse that 
really dark bronzer out. I'm just going to go all around my face with that. Do the same three and E shape. And then on the nose, on the sides of the nose, just ever so slightly. And then on the eyelids. Just so that it looks like you were in the sun. Now we're going to go with the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. And we're just going to take a Real Techniques Delique de Deluxe Crease Brush. Why can I never say that? And we're just going to sweep that all over the lids. And we're going to go into our Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette with that eyelid color. And we're going to take the same brush and just sweep it over the Maybelline color tattoo color that we laid down. It's just going to lock it into place. And then we're going to take that brow bone color and on that makeup applicating sponge that comes with the palette, I just kind of take it and put it inside the inner corners. The sponges are not completely useless. Now for the brows. We're going to fill it in. Well, first we're going to spoolie them and get them into place. Then we're going to fill them in with the pencil part. This is the L'Oreal brow pencil. I'll have everything listed in the description box below, just in case anyone's wondering, what the hell did you put on your face, woman? <laughs> I'm getting text messages from the boy. You guys know who the boy is if you watch the vlogs. And since I like to use a lighter eyebrow pencil color, I go in with a darker brow gel to kind of balance out the colors and make it look a little bit more natural. Like right here. This is the Maybelline Brow Gel in dark brown. Oh. In the summer, I really like the natural brow look. Because it's just like, it looks effortless. It looks like you just woke up like that. <laughs> God, it'd be a miracle if I ever woke up looking like that. Jeez. Now for the fun part, our pop of color. We're taking this aquam aquamarine blue. It's a cover gold pencil. It's really nice. And then we're going to take a shadow from this NYX trio and we're just going to go on an elf smudgy brush and kind of pat that color in. And we just blend it out slightly. Don't blend it down, blend it slightly upwards so that way you don't have like blue tears coming down your face. And mascara. I don't like using an eyelash color just because I crimped off my lashes one time. It wasn't fun. Then we go in with some lipstick. And some spray. This makeup tutorial went by really fast. Oh my gosh. Set all that in. And I kind of touched up my brows because I'm like, oh no. I need it a little bit more intense. We're done. Oh my gosh, we're done. Okay. I, I, that was it for my first makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like it. I have more coming up soon and they will definitely not be so rushed next time. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> we both kind of lost. Oh, it's okay. I was just getting a feel of it and now that I have a better